let's have a quick look at the anatomy of a radical, also known as a root. There are several parts in it, and we're just going to label what each of those parts are. Let's start with this part inside the root. That's our radicand. The next part that matters is our index, and that's this little piece right here. Keep in mind that that needs to be inside that little loop. Our last piece is out front. That is what's known as a coefficient. Now, if you don't see a coefficient written there, we assume it's a 1. Altogether, this whole thing is a radical. Another way you may also often see a radical, you might see radicals that look like this. This radical was written without an index. Mathematicians get lazy. We use square roots so often that we don't want to write that little index of 2 in every time. So if you don't see an index in there, we assume it is an index of 2. The last thing I want to talk about is how we talk about radicals. We always talk about radicals in terms of what the index is. This one on the left is a cubed root because it's got an index of 3. The one on the right is a square root. If we had an index of 4, it would be a fourth root. If we had an index of 10, it would be a tenth root. And it's always referring to it by the index.